Hi everyone, welcome to this channel. Today we are going to see Locks with Multiple Granularity of the Chapter Concurrency Control. Okay? Now, what is granularity? Granularity means the size of data item allowed to lock. Okay? So here, see, you can see the example over here. So this much of data item is locked. This is what the granularity. Okay? What size of data item is allowed to lock is nothing but granularity. Okay. What is multiple granularity? Multiple granularity can be defined as hierarchical breaking of the database into blocks which can be locked. Okay. So basically remember the term over here, hierarchical breaking of the database into blocks and which can be locked. It maintains the track of what to lock and how to lock, okay? It makes easy to decide either to lock a data item or to unlock a data item. This type of hierarchy can be graphically represented as a tree. For example, consider a tree which has four levels of nodes, okay? The first level or the higher level shows the entire database. The second level represents a node of type area. The higher level database consists of exactly these areas. The area consists of children nodes which are known as files. No file can be presented in more than one area. Finally, each file contains child nodes known as records. The file has exactly those records that are its child nodes. No record represent in more than one file. Okay. Now see this. Hence, the levels of the tree starting from the top level are as follows. Very first one is database. So here you can see this is the top node of a tree. That is database. Okay. Database is having several areas. So this is A1, A2 and there can be more areas. Right. Now. A1 is having, that is area is having certain files like SA and FB, okay? And here A2 is having certain files called as FC and FD, okay? And here at the last, this is what record, okay? So this is how the hierarchy, hierarchy of the uh, database, okay? Very first is nothing but database. Database is having certain area. Area is having files and file is having what? Record. So this way... Uh, the hierarchy is shown over here, right? Now, suppose if I log this database over here, okay, if I log this database over here, then obviously if this root is locked, then entire descendant is locked, right? Entire descendant is locked. And if I log this A1, then definitely this everything is locked over here. If I log A2, then everything is locked for this A2 over here. Okay. To overcome this, right, to overcome this, the multiple locks were introduced. To overcome this, multiple locks were introduced. Since we have studied only two locks. One is shared lock and the another one is what? Exclusive lock. Okay. Shared lock and exclusive lock. Right. Now, we are going to study more three locks in this scenario. Okay. So, there are three additional lock modes with multiple granularity called as intentional mode locks. Okay. Intention shared is the first lock. It contains explicit locking at a lower level of the tree but only with shared locks. Okay. Remember this. If this node is locked by the transaction. Okay. If this node is locked by the transaction, then definitely if we are having two locks, that is shared lock or exclusive lock, then this entire descendant is locked for this particular node. But here, since it is intention shared lock, though this node is locked by the transaction, the lower level of tree can be locked by the same transaction or any other transaction in the shared mode lock. Okay, in the shared mode, lock. Okay, agar ye transaction in lock kiya hai, then by rule, agar hamare paas si intention shared mode lock nahi hota, then by rule, then this everything is locked for this particular transaction, right? But because of this intention mode locks, okay, because of this intentional mode locks, 
it allows the other transaction to th lock this particular node in a shared mode lock okay in a shared mode lock right now let's see the next intentional mode lock so here you can see intentional intention exclusive and represented as ix it contains explicit locking at the lower level with exclusive or shared locks okay if this particular node is locked by certain transaction okay then what about this by rule it must be locked the lower level must also be locked by that particular transaction but because of the intentional mode lock the descending the lower level of the tree or the lower nodes can be locked by same transaction or any other transaction with shared mode or exclusive mode okay that's why it is said to be as intention exclusive any other transaction can lock this particular node or this node by shared mode or exclusive mode so this is what the intention exclusive concept next is what shared and intention exclusive represented as six this subtree rooted by that node is locked explicitly in shared mode okay now suppose see this is what locked by the transaction t1 okay and here you can see this is one root for this and this is the another root for this okay then here it is telling what the subtree rooted by that node the subtree rooted by that node so here this section is a subtree right so here the first node of that is locked explicitly in shared mode by any tra any other transaction okay and here again this is lo locked in ex uh, shared mode okay this is again locked in shared mode but if we go below again at the lower levels okay then this node is locked in exclusive mode again this subtree <coughs> this subtree rooted by this node okay is locked is locked explicitly in shared mode and again if you go at the low, lower level then this particular node is locked as a exclusive mode okay so this is what the concept of six jo root jo node locked hai theek hai by any transaction uske subtree ka jo pehla node hoga that is locked in a shared mode again if we go below then it is locked in exclusive mode so this is what the concept of six is it clear to everyone right now we are going to see the compatibility matrix for this lock node like is intention shared ix intention exclusive this is shared shared and intention exclusive and this is what exclusive right so this is what the compatibility matrix is is compatible with is 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 compatible with ix s and six but it is not compatible with exclusive likewise i ix is compatible with is ix and no other locks okay shared is compatible only with is and s six is compatible with only is and x is not compatible with any of the locks so this is what the compatibility matrix in the multiple granularity okay if you have any doubt feel free to ask me the question thank you for watching this video